Hi everyone, April Luca here, and today we're talking about reclaiming our lives. Um, stop living the lie and not letting other people project to us, from us, about us, and why it's important that we take control, why we reclaim ourselves, and why we stand in the understanding that you are, I am, true individuals that have been created and have come to do and to serve a higher good purpose, a purpose that is ours, not necessarily something that we've been encouraged to do by somebody else or, you know, living somebody else's dream that they're living their dream through us, um, those type of things. But the reality of the matter is <clears throat> we are individuals. And as individuals, we have come with the purpose and the intention to live and to do and to be that higher calling. Not necessarily what our parents may have wanted for us. You know, they've done their best. They did their best to raise us and, and give us the teaching and the training that we've needed to get to where we're at in life now and today. But that doesn't necessarily mean we have to become a world-proclaimed ice skating champion just because it's what mom or dad wanted. We don't have to strive to become perfect in something like that. Maybe it, you hate the ice and maybe you've fallen enough times that you're sick and tired of being on ice skates. And it's time to reclaim your identity. It's time, time to reclaim who is it that you were born to be and to be who you are here to be. And also another issue within that is when people use controlling manipulation to try to get us to do what it is that they want us to do we have to reclaim our power in that. Um, guilt trips, people putting us on guilt trips. Well, you don't want to do that for me because. Or, see, I knew you didn't love so-and-so because. That's not the truth of the matter at all. And people are using a form of manipulation to get us to do what it is that they want and not allow us to live our own lives and to be our own individual. You know, maybe... The circumstance or the situation is actually, I can't do that today because there's something that makes my heart sing. There's something in my life that I greatly desire to do and to be. It doesn't mean that I don't love or I don't support or I'm not there to help you. But on the same token, I have to be an honor and a respect of my own self, my own identity, my own truth. So the challenge is stop living the lie. Live the life that you feel is yours. You know, sometimes we have to look and really look in the mirror and realize, who am I? Um, what am I here for? You know, it, you know, when, and, and I have an article I've done a while ago, I might have even done a video a while ago on, you know, being yourself. You don't have to be somebody, somebody all the time. If you're a mom, yeah, we step into that role and we do what we have to do as a mom. We help and we train and we teach them. But we also have our own identity in that. We have our own space within it. Or yes, I might be a coach and I'm here to help coach my team and bring my team to the best place, but I'm also an individual as well. And we don't have to be somebody, somebody. I know in the article, and possibly another video, like I said, I talk about how, you know, when you're born, you're somebody's child. Then when your children are born, you're somebody's parent. When you're married, you're somebody's spouse. When you're at a job, you're somebody's employee. We, we all seem to fall into that role. We all seem to step into it with great ease. And we give them our power. We give them our identity and in reality, we have to be ourselves. We have to be our true selves. We have to be who we have been born here to be. And that is something that we're focusing on this month is <clears throat> taking back that identity, taking back that, that role of understanding who am I, why am I here, and what is my purpose. And one of the only ways you're going to find that is when you really start living and being your own individual self. My name's April. If you'd like to learn more about me, it's aprilugophd.com. You can email me at aprilugophd at yahoo.com.